In this video, I'm going to show you how to render an image from static resources in your document. So just in static resources, I'm just going to create an entry. We're just going to call it signature. And I've just got a signature image here. And we're going to make that public and save. Okay, so we've called it just signature. And then what we're going to do in our document, which has got nothing in there yet, I'm just going to add in a tag. And so we've got to prefix it with IMG, all in capitals. And I'm just going to call it signature like that. And we'll save it. And then what we're going to do is just create our document template through document template designer. And so new. And I'm just going to call this one static resources image. I'm going to leave everything empty for now. I'm just going to browse and we'll upload the template from before. And we'll save that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just go into our data raptor. And we're just going to create a really quick and easy one. So dr get static resource and we'll leave it as extract and then what we're extracting is static resources static resource we'll make the output the same and I'm going to filter on name so I could filter on the ID um, but in this particular instance I'm going to filter on name and we're going to say that it equals signature and because there could be more than one, I'm going to limit to one. So I know for a fact that I've only got one file in static resources called signature. So that's where I'm going with this. And then in my output, I'm going to just output the ID. So static resource ID, and I'll give it the same name there. And if we preview, we'll just check to see if that works. So we're getting back the static resource ID there. So that one's working. And then what we need to do now is the transform. And the transform is where we actually convert this from an ID into an image that can be read by document generation. So we'll go new. And I'll just call this one transform static resource. And we'll change it to a transform. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're getting in that input. So, or we're getting in, sorry, the static resource ID. So we'll just copy that. And over here, that's our input. So this is really important now. So the ID is actually the source of the image. So we need to prefix it with IMG. And we've called it signature in our template and then colon s r c for source okay so in our document just to remember we only have img signature and what we're doing is we're saying colon s r c for source and that should be the id so let's preview that oh whoops i don't have any inputs so we'll just copy everything here execute and then you can see the object is IMG signature and the source is there with the number and then in OmniScript I don't have a um, OmniScript template or sorry I don't have an OmniScript yet set up for this so I'm just going to quickly duplicate an existing one just so I don't overwrite any of my previous work so I'll just go new version Probably don't need to do this, but I'd rather do that than, um, than update it by mistake. So I'm just going to edit that and we'll call this um, doc gen image and doc gen image over there. Okay, so let's preview that now. And so I haven't changed anything. This was straight out of static resources from my very first, um, my very first video. 
Now we need to provide an object ID. So this is where, um, where the file is going to attach to. So I'm going to use a case in this instance. So it's just going to be this example. Put my object ID there. And then my template type is Word. And I forgot to activate it. So let's just quickly activate that now. All right, and let's preview again. And we called it, oh, I haven't activated it yet. So let me um, go back and I actually haven't done a whole bunch of stuff yet. I need to get my static resources, the extract and put it there. And then in my transform, I need to specify that over there. And so we'll save and then activate. And let's try that again. All right, there's our static resources image there. So we'll go next, leave everything as is. And so that should now be going off and generating. So we've got the preview sitting there. And you can see that the image has now appeared. So had you not gone SCR, all you would have gotten was the, um, the ID, which is obviously not the image. So you do need to put that source in there. So we can see here that the file is, well, the image is huge. So you can either edit that in an image editing software, or you can actually define the height and size in the data raptor itself. So if we come back into our transform and go into formulas, Add a formula, we're going to have width and height. And uh, I'm just going to put in some random numbers. So 200 and 100. I don't think the proportions will be right, but that's okay for this example. And then going into transforms and add. And so this time we're going to have image signature Height. Uh, whoops, do it the other way around. So this will be height. And then we'll do one for width as well. And let's preview that. So now we're getting in the image um, object, we're getting height width and source and if we go and preview that now so let's go back and we'll go next again you can see that that image is now smaller